Newtown, Connecticut was at one time considered one of the safest towns in America. With a population of about 27,000 people, it was known for its horseback riding and for being the home of the famous Hunger Games author, Susan Collins. On December 14th, 2012, Adam Lanza shot his mother. Grabbing a total of four guns, he then drove to Sandy Hook Elementary School. This school was located in Newtown. It was a normal day there, with around 700 students attending. Adam Lanza arrived. In a matter of minutes, he shot dead 20 children and six adults. He then took his own life. All of Adam Lanza's guns were purchased legally. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The Second Amendment, more commonly known as the right to bear arms, is one of the most controversial amendments in the U.S. People still argue its meaning today. Some interpret it to say that every American citizen should be allowed to own a gun. Others argue the Second Amendment only gives our military and law enforcement that right. When our founding fathers created the Second Amendment, their main focus was to escape from the oppression that they faced under the rule of the British king. They had armed themselves and rebelled using guns. When they established the government of the United States, they wanted to make a country that would allow for its citizens to be able to rise up and rebel if they felt oppressed, not wanting to create the same trap that America had faced under Britain. However, the question arises, should the system still be in place today? The Second Amendment to the Constitution was formulated many, many years ago. Um, and I think that our country was in its infancy. And maybe people weren't sure um, of the governmental structure, so people had the right to bear arms in, in the event that uh, government didn't do what it said. Uh, that being said, I mean, I don't think that it applies to 2017. Guns have evolved, and so should our laws. When you look at the weapons that the public possess today, you can see just how truly destructive they are. Because of the Second Amendment, whenever people try to pass gun control laws, they are met with heavy resistance. Congressmen are scared away from endorsing these laws, out of fear of losing financial support from the NRA. Many Americans believe that it's their constitutional right to own guns. If gun control laws were even able to pass through and come into effect, they usually wind up expiring or getting revoked because they are deemed unconstitutional. The Second Amendment is the main thing that stands in the way of gun control. People are always using it to argue against gun control, and because of that, we need to reform it. Why should the public own military-grade weapons? Well, first, I, I uh, first time I fired a, a weapon is when I went in the military, uh, and you know, nobody in my family had weapons, and we weren't hunters and that kind of thing. Uh, but but when you fire weapons, you just see, you know, the, the violence that's attached to that, uh, and uh, and what what it does. Um, and so uh, the only weapons that I've ever owned are ones that I needed to purchase for work. Uh, and so, you know, I'm very, very cautious. Uh, um, and I mean, long before it became an issue of guns being stolen out of cars, I never left a gun in the car unless there was a safe, you know, the, a gun safe in the car and stuff. But, and I, I can remember, uh, because I have weapons at home, putting my wife through training, who had never fired a weapon, and, and she was really struck with just, at the range, how violent of a, an act it is in, in terms of having a firearm that's lethal and the kick and all that kind of thing. The Second Amendment needs to be reformed. 
It needs to prohibit the possession of such powerful weapons. If Americans are insistent on owning guns, we can let them. But why do they need to own such powerful weapons of destruction? Having them in our streets will only create violence and death.